So, the time has come. Halo 5 has almost been out for an entire year. Now what this means is you can go to your mom and beg to her that it is now one third of the price that it used to be uh, at the launch uh, or at its release uh, back in November of last year. So, your mom goes to the store, your local GameStop, buys Halo 5, uh, comes home, gives it to you, and after you've done all your homework, you're able to uh, plug it into your Xbox and wait four days for it to download. Uh, and once it once <laughs> once it's finally downloaded, you you hop on the game all excited, but then you 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 stop. You you realize that everyone else is better than you at this game, and and there's an issue with that because you are going to get wrecked and you're not going to have any fun. Well, fear not, fear not, because this new series on my channel will teach you how to do everything in the game. Even though it may seem simple, but I will teach you how to do everything in the game properly. Now, I'll highlight that term, the word properly. You might know how to hold X and hijack a ghost, but do you know how to do it properly? Probably not. Uh, so what, what this series will do is show you things that other YouTubers won't, and uh, I, I guarantee that for, for the most part. Uh, but in all seriousness, this series will help you out. I guarantee you that. Uh, you will get better at the game. It's very simple stuff uh, that I do, and it, it, I've noticed that a lot of people, and a lot of other people, don't know how to do, and they don't really do it. So I, I'm going to share that with you. Uh, it perks to knowing about my channel, and uh, I, it's a way that I can give back to y'all for uh, for supporting me. And uh, I do appreciate every single one of y'all. So I want to want to give back to y'all uh, with this. And so without further ado, let's get right into the very first installment uh, of this new series. So our first question here comes from Apples for Days. Very nice name, by the way. Uh, so he asks, is there an easy way to hijack a ghost? Very simple question, uh, but it is definitely worth going over. Um, I mean, how many times is this you where you're just walking around, you're probably on an invincible, you know, good 30 kill streak, 35 kill streak, and uh, then, then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, as you're crossing the map, a ghost just flies around the corner, blazes you down, or he runs your guts over. Um, and yeah, this, this, this was, this was me at the beginning of the game. I absolutely, you know, I raged a lot. I had, I, I mean, I do have a raging issue. Um, but you know, it's, it's, I'm so glad, so glad I, I learned this myself. It was an actual, it was actually an accident. Um, I just, you know, out of reflex, I thrust it backwards and then, you know, the, this trick worked and I was like, wow. All right. Um, so yeah, you should know uh, to hijack a ghost or hijack anything, you hold X uh, for most of y'all. For me, it's RB because I use the layout recon, uh, but if y'all are using the default layout, then it's going to be X uh, for y'all. So here's this, the first clip here. The ghost is coming at me, right? And so if he's boosting, the boost, it, 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 you know, it amplifies his speed. And so to match his speed, you want to thrust in the same direction as he's coming at you. So, <clears throat> in general, that's going to be uh, backwards. You're, you need to thrust backwards. And so, the thrust is actually the same velocity uh, as a ghost, uh, uh, the, the, the boost on a ghost. And so, if you match the speed of something as it's coming at you, then it can't technically splatter you because it can't catch up to you. And so, by thrusting backwards, as you see me do here, uh, you're able to get on top of the ghost and so as your thrust runs out you're falling on top of the ghost And then that's when you hijack it. That's when you hold down your your hijack button and so and, and as Another thing is sometimes it's not really gonna work out too well because you might be going on a hill and as you jump uh, It's you're just you might actually hit the ghost um, on your way down as you're trying to hijack it So what I do is I jump backwards I jump thrust as, you know, as I'm moving backwards, I jump and I thrust backwards, and then uh, as I'm as I get to the end of my thrust, I hold my crouch button because this makes your Spartan smaller, and your your feet kind of move up, and I'm sure your head moves down a little bit, but in general, you get higher off the ground, and so this gives you more wiggle room uh, to not get splattered, and it definitely increases the chances of this working. So yeah, that sums up the first installment of this new series, and I hope y'all did learn something today. If you did, leave a comment below, leave a like, helps me out. Uh, and if anybody has any specific questions that they want me to make a future video on explaining, please comment it below and I will consider making a video on it. Uh, and hopefully I can explain it uh, the best way that I possibly can. Uh, and yeah, I hope y'all did enjoy and I will talk to y'all next time. Peace.